Could pomegranate oil be the key to stopping degenerative brain diseases? Researchers in Israel have teamed up with a nanoscience lab to manipulate nature and take on one of the medicine's greatest challenges. I-24 News science and technology reporter Ariel Levin-Waldman explains. Researchers in Israel may have discovered a game changer in the fight against degenerative brain disease, a way to slow it and possibly even double a patient's lifespan. It's a pressing issue in Israel where Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease is disturbingly common. In the space of months, a patient can go from normal to paralyzed to dead. We in Israel are especially interested in prion diseases and especially in the genetic part, genetic prion disease, since we actually are kind of the country that has the most number of patients per population since a Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease is a genetic in the juice of Libyan oranges. But how? Brain diseases are tricky. They're not caused by bacteria, but by prions, aberrant proteins that trigger a chain reaction that destroys brain cells. There are several major challenges involved in treating degenerative brain diseases. The first is that they seem to scale exponentially. By the time they can be detected, it's already way too late to treat them. However, it might just be possible to treat the symptoms, and in doing that, ensure that a patient can have a longer life and a better one. Researchers at Hadassah Hospital found that antioxidants like pomegranate oil could slow the destructive chemical reaction that prions cause in human brains. But there is a challenge. This oil is a very strong antioxidant, one of the strongest in nature. And the question was, how shall we uh, send it to the brain? Alongside the Hebrew University's Nano Center, they found a way to engineer the oil into droplets small enough to enter the brain and start working. But how much? Tests on mice seem promising. Indeed, we found that they will live now six months longer, which is a lot. I mean, uh, half of their lifespan. Imagine if you are going to get sick at 50, then it may give you 20 to 30 years. But how well does that translate to humans? After three months, we found an increase of 12% in, in performance of the cognition of this test. The score was higher in all patients. But where things get interesting is that the chemical mechanism may be the same across all brain diseases, including Alzheimer's. If so, the nano formula could be a silver bullet against the worst parts of the human condition.